Today I want to show you how to roll slab from home. We do have a slab roller here in the clay studio, but this year we are doing things a little bit differently and you're rolling out slab at home. So you're going to need your PVC rolling pin as well as your piece of canvas. So I'm going to angle the camera down a little bit so that you can watch how I roll slab. So you want to take your ball of clay and start slamming it against the work surface to flatten out the clay a little bit. And your slab in the end, you want it to be uh, no thicker than a quarter of an inch. You can go a little bit thinner. So you're going to take your PVC rolling pin and roll back and forth kind of like you're rolling out some cookie dough flip the clay and that will help it roll a little bit easier. So I'm going to flip and rotate the clay and continue to roll. I have a little bit of clay stuck to the rolling pin so I'm just going to get that off of there. as even as possible about a quarter of an inch thick. Next step is to take a rib tool. You may use either your yellow mud rib or your red mud rib to smooth out the slab. I have a little bit of a wrinkle in this slab and that came from this canvas slightly folding over as I was rolling but you can easily resolve that by pushing clay particles over that area. So I'm going to choose to use the red rib. Again, you may use either color rib tool for this process. So I'm going to smooth the area, being very mindful of any areas that may have indents or wrinkles, and really taking the time to smooth that surface. You wanna make sure that the entire time you're smoothing, that you are using the flat side, not the curved side, the flat side of your rib tool. If you use the curved side of the rib tool, you'll do more damage to the slab surface than good. So now I have a nice smooth slab surface. So I'm going to choose to create an organic, a very natural shaped slab plate. So I'm going to take the cleanup tool, the knife side, and I'm going to cut off that uneven edge and make a nice curvy flowing edge. It's going to be the edge of my finished plate. And I'm going to remove the excess slab. Now I have a rough cut line. You want to use your sponge, your clay sponge and refine the edge of the slab so there's no harsh and jagged edges. When this piece becomes a little bit firmer, I'll be able to flip it over and refine that other edge as well. So I'm going to take the time to go over the edges a couple of times. Like to have a little handle edge on my plate so that's easy to pick up and carry. So I'm going to take a little bit of time to curve this edge up and over. This is how I'm going to grasp the plate and then I'm going to also make a nice little flowing edge on this corner as well. So I'm able to easily pick this plate up and move it. So this size plate would be used for something like dessert. Okay. So once this stiffens up more, I'm going to take the time to smooth and refine this edge as well. You can see it's a little bit inconsistent there. We want all the surface to be nice and refined, but this needs to stiffen. So it is best that I don't touch it at all until it becomes a little bit stiffer. 